and gentlemen, children of all sides and ninjas, welcome to the great one and only legendary Masters Legacy YouTube channel. Today, we got some Valkyrie Mini Challenge. Let's get to it. Hey guys, we just completed the Valkyrie Mini Challenge. We got all three wins, zero losses, first try. I came out of nowhere, I played it, and I forgot to record it. Sorry, but no biggie. I still have all three gameplays, so we can still share them on here. Let's open this chest up. Actually, let, let's show you the replays first. Let's see. One win, two win, three win. Some of these were really, really close. I'm gonna go to them. Double time. We chose Bowler. Goblin Barrel. We're gonna choose Log just because we don't want him to counter our Goblin Barrel. And we chose also Electro Wizard. Let's see. Hopefully he didn't have any good spells. That was my... My little wish, just so that it can be easier for us to get that Goblin Barrel in. I feel like the Goblin Barrel is going to be the win condition, so that was hoping for. I'm not that good with this, these type of like, uh, I'm actually not that good with epics just because I don't use any epics, and most of my decks I barely have any epics, except for like Goblin Barrel and... Uh, I don't even know what other epic I use. I don't I don't use epics. Alright, we have Dark Prince going for that tower. He gets stopped by the Lumberjack. Musketeer running to the next tower. He's gonna get one hit in. We're gonna stop that Lumberjack and distract with that Electro Wizard. Me Pekka gonna get one hit on our tower. Anger face, grr. We're gonna drop that bowler in a bit. We know he has a rocket, so we're not gonna drop it at the tower again. Let's not make that mistake. I gave him the rocket, which I don't know. I didn't I never expected him to use it on the bowler. But he does have a big push coming in our way. Lumberjack is gonna get a couple of hits. Valkyrie, he leaves our tower at 58 health. We're gonna drop that go goblin barrel on that tower. We're trying to take out his tower because we know almost anything he does, he's gonna take out the tower. He waste has to waste the whole rocket on that 58 tower because he has no other spell. So now we have, he has a clone spell, I don't think he ever used that clone spell. We have the Witch on the other tower, and Electro Wizard and Musketeer going for the Green Tower. Goblin Barrel gonna do a lot of damage. We know he doesn't have anything to counter that Goblin Barrel. So, Goblin Barrel is our win condition for now. Electro Wizard going for that tower, Goblin Barrel gonna take it out, finish it. Finish the game, good game. Two to one. Now, let's go for a second game. This is a draft type of challenge, so, you know, I can't make a deck. I kind of prefer it this way, just because I don't really have a good deck right now. I am going to go with Royal Giant over me, over Big Pekka. We're going to choose Tornado. We're going to choose um, Skarmy and Princess. Tinder is going to help us out a lot, just because he does have no elixir cards that can be taken out, that can be taken out by the Tornado. And we also have the log. Thanks, he gave us the log. Now, the only thing he has to counter our Skarmy is that zap. He's gonna drop the zap a little bit too late. The our Skarmy is gonna get a good elixir trade with that. But also taking out that um Dark Goblin. Royal G going to work. All he has is that Musketeer to try to counter it. I could have pulled the Musketeer to the other lane, but there's not really any point since both my lanes are full. So it, was, it would have been kind of pointless just to waste the mixer on that. We dropped the Ice Wizard. We're going to try to defend. He has a pretty heavy deck. Ice Wizard is going to get taken out by that big bomb that's dropped by the giant skeleton. Peck is going to rush in. Take out that Royal G. We're going to drop that Valkyrie to try to defend a little bit. Hold off that Pekka for as long as we can. Don't let it reach that tower. Skarmy is going to try it. He wastes a whole fireball on my princess. Skarmy's gonna get like a couple hits in. Now we are dominating in this game. We've been touched a little bit, but so far we're doing so good. Dropping those elixir points, we gotta gain that elixir. I wasn't sure if that was a smart idea at the time that I did it just because he does have a big push coming my way. Mini Peck, I mean, Big Peck is gonna take out the Ice Wizard. Valkyrie's gonna take out that giant skeleton, and now we're going back to work. We're almost complete domination. There's no way that he's gonna take out our tower anymore. Two seconds left. It's over. Double Princess on that tower for the win. One crown to nothing.
And last but not least, this is an extremely close game. You guys just watch and see. I'm not a big fan of mortars. Don't really use them a lot. Never used them when they were in the meta. I don't think I will ever start using them now. We're gonna give him that dark prince. I mean, regular prince. And we're gonna go with the knight. And we have a goblin barrel, so... He does have the witch. If I had that rocket, mm, that witch would have been gone right there. But plus tower damage would have been a good trade for me. He does have arrows. So that's the biggest counter to my goblin barrel. Now I have to find a way to reach his tower with these itty bitty troops. I'm gonna take out that mortar. Not the greatest of elixir traits, but it does take it out almost immediately, and I get no damage from that mortar. I'm gonna drop that Tesla to protect my Inferno Tower just for a little bit longer. Just in case he wants to drop something. We have two defenses there. Still haven't got any hits on him. He is gonna drop that Royal G. We're gonna drop the Inferno Tower to defend against it. But he does have those little archers backing it up. The archer is gonna get a couple of hits in. Now he decides to drop his mortar now that he knows that I have wasted my Inferno Tower. But I have to keep using that Inferno Tower on that Royal G since it is more dangerous for me to take out. He is sitting at 10 elixir, what a bad thing to do. We're gonna rocket. I was scared that I was gonna miss that rocket. We do tend to get it, and we get the tower. This is the tower. He ignored the left lane, so we did drop that one to 1690. The witch is gonna try to take out our tower by herself. Not gonna do any work. I then realized that I just need to rocket cycle. Because if I don't, I'm not gonna ever hit that tower. It's gonna take forever for me to probably even take that tower. He's gonna take that tower. He's gonna take my tower before I'm able to take it. He misses his arrows and it's over for him. Rocket. We still have 68 damage left. We have to keep defending until I get that rocket cycled back in. I wasn't sure if the zap was gonna take it out and I didn't want to risk it. I had to just defend, defend, defend. Rocket. Good game. You know how we do it here in Masters Legacy with those rockets for the win. And that gave us our three easy peasy wins, no losses. Now let's open this chest up and see what we got. I don't expect anything good. We did collect our Valkyries. It gave us, uh, I believe, uh, I don't know. I think it gave us three, then six, then nine. I'm not sure. Let's just open this right up. 310 gold. I am rich now. Can't believe it. Seven arrows. By God Almighty, just exactly what I needed. And I can't believe it. One Mega Minion. Wow. All right, we are going to take a look. We do get three, then five, then eight. I was a little bit off. But guys, go try out this Valkyrie Mini Challenge. It's really good. Now, that's all we have for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed, slap that like button across its big ass head. And I'll see you guys in the next one.